believe it or not, it's already been two years since I quit the carnivore diet. Overall, I've been feeling a lot better, but unfortunately, I think there's still a ways to go to fully recover from the damage that eight years of the carnivore diet caused me. Back around 2012, 2013, uh, was when I started a meat-only diet after doing some research, uh, reading books about hunter-gatherers and keto diets, uh, mainly the Weston A. Price stuff, as well as, uh, I think it was Primal Body, Primal Mind. At the time, I was having digestive issues from taking Accutane and finally found a diet I could actually follow and have somewhat normal energy and digestion. That diet worked out for five, maybe six years, but towards the end, I started having severe health issues, starting with insomnia, eventually to the point where I couldn't even follow the carnivore diet anymore from the extreme heart palpitations and migraine headaches. So yeah, it was pretty smooth sailing, and there were definitely some warning signs that I ignored before it got really bad, like maybe once a week I'd have sleeping issues, maybe I didn't feel so good at one point in time, but there were a few a catalysts for sure that made things worse. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I knew as much as I did now about health and nutrition, I would not have had to follow the carnivore diet in the first place. I would have just hopped on the protocol I'm doing now for liver recovery. Uh, so the first six months was extremely difficult because I was still having health problems, still trying to fix my gut. Even though I completely changed my diet to mostly carbs, lots of fibers, some meat, yeah, there, there was still a lot of troubleshooting to do and it was very hard for me to get through my day today. I remember I was kind of starting up Frankie's Super Range Meat and still having all of these health problems. After learning and understanding you know, what antimicrobials to take, getting into the water kefir, figuring out what carb sources are best, I was able to sleep again. And before that, I was just taking you know, high amounts of antimicrobials, the regular probiotic pills and things you get in the supermarket weren't really working, even the most expensive, highest quality brands, all the different types of enzyme stuff. None of that really worked until I found the water kefir. And that was the biggest hurdle by far, because for almost years at that point, I couldn't sleep. You know, maybe one or two hours a night maximum. You know, the liver and gut damage from the carnivore diet was so severe that it took months of recovery just for things to start turning around in the right direction. Yeah, two or three weeks into the new diet, I started feeling better, but I mean, I was still suffering. It's why most people never really fix their health issues because they expect instant results. So when they can't eat bread, when they're on keto, when they're on carnivore and they're super sensitive to things, even like putting black pepper on steak, that's a really big sign that you better try to fix things now before it gets to the point where it's gonna be really, really bad. Now at the six month point, I was pretty consistent for another six months until I was able to start tanning again in the summer. That was when I started feeling a lot better, getting my energy back, able to kind of work and be consistent with the YouTube videos, but I was still having a very difficult time. Uh, so initially, wasn't sleeping at all. Then after about six months, I was able to get a few hours a night and a little bit more into that summer. Some days I was able to get, you know, five, six, seven hours of sleep. Still on and off though, you know, getting the water key for intake, the mastic gum, the meal size were very important. Uh, through that summer into the winter, I continued to detox my liver with this diet. And then this past summer in 2022, it was like another big boost in the right direction. If I do everything right, I'll have good energy throughout the day, sleep pretty good, overall much better. That being said, I think I'm around halfway there in terms of detoxing my liver, and then it might take a bit longer after that for the cells to recover. Because once the toxins are removed, you're not just good to go, you're not finished. Then you need a few years with the completely detoxed liver for your body to get back to where it should be. You know, are you gonna restore a classic car and then just leave it and not show it to anyone or not drive it? No, the car's fixed, everything's ready, everything's perfect, so now it's time to use it. 
I mean, that might not be the best analogy, but uh, so we're about two years in now, maybe another two or three years of detoxing and then another one or two years for cellular recovery. Now, if you're just coming from a standard American diet and normal and no health problems, I would say it's probably about two years to detox your liver and then one year for cellular recovery. And then we have a more extreme end of things. I figured this out because I was looking at studies showing uh, mineral, vitamin, and toxin stores in the liver. There were significant enough variances in concentration, I think it was per gram of liver, that I could figure out I had to be on the extreme end. The problem is there aren't any studies showing the body's detoxing capabilities on a daily basis, which I have estimations and I'm guessing and I could honestly figure that out if I spent a few thousand dollars in laboratory testing, uh, but maybe we'll do that, maybe we'll do that. And those two simple questions to ask how long it's gonna take are, you know, how severe were your health issues and what is your consistency with this protocol? Like I was doing the, the burger reviews for a little while, which thankfully we're done with, but you know, obviously 10, 15 days of stuffing myself with bad food has definitely slowed my progress a little bit. And in regards to, I guess, priority, although everything needs to kind of be there for you to really improve your health, one is adherence to the diet. If you follow the diet and do nothing else, you will eventually fix your problems, but the rest of the things can really help you feel a lot better and fix more severe damage, like the properly made water kefir. Some people don't actually need it. Their gut isn't messed up enough to the point that they need the probiotic, but some people absolutely 100% do need it. Uh, number three is consistent antimicrobials. And again, this is with more severe digestive and health issues that having uh, mastic gum, especially, and sometimes some candida antimicrobials might be needed, possibly enzymes as well. Number four is the EMF Wi-Fi reduction. As you guys see, I'm wearing my outfit and I actually wouldn't be able to sleep at all if I didn't have like the Wi-Fi shielding tent, all the silver fabric everywhere. So again, although it's in a priority list, it's 100% necessary. I think that's a given. It's, you know, $100, $200, $300, depending on what you're buying. There's no effort at all. You're protecting your organs for digestion and you're going to be able to sleep a lot better. Next up, we have a high level of sun exposure. And I would even say extreme sun exposure. If the UV index is good, if there's no clouds in the sky, you should be out uh, as much as possible throughout the entire day as, you know, your priority is really to fix your health. So that's very, very important. It's like November and I'm gonna go tan in the park today for a few hours if I can. Then we have meal size and timing, which pertains to sleep. So if you're overeating, if you're eating too close to bed, again, with significant health issues, you might have a hard time sleeping. Now, if you don't have a hard time sleeping regardless of that, you're blessed in a sense that a lot of people are way worse off. So if you're still having sleeping problems, um, like for me, if I just have one meal in the middle of the day in the morning, I'll sleep a lot better at night. And then we have correct supplements, which is a lot to go into. Uh, I mean, in regards to the hair mineral analysis and vitamins and things that are depleted, but I can give you guys a general gist of it. And I've also done previous videos on all the supplements I'm currently taking. Maybe we'll do an update sometime soon. So the diet is four to eight ounces of lean red meat, 12 ounces plus of organic starch to appetite as much as you want and then four ounces plus of fiber or gut motility, whether it's onions, mushrooms, artichoke, beans, if the starch source isn't whole grain. Like if it's brown rice, you don't necessarily need the fiber the gut motility source. And that's per meal, by the way. This, this is all per meal. Eight ounces plus of water kefir. You might need two or three cups of water kefir. An ounce of water kefir grains for a more diverse probiotic profile. And then a teaspoon of mastic powder to keep gut motility high, to keep things moving. And that was actually one of, one of the craziest things that happened to me because me trying the raw primal diet and drinking like raw milk, sheep milk, and goat milk gave me a bad H. pylori infection, which I'm still almost dealing with. Um, so if that didn't happen, I mean, who knows if I would have even ever switched over to this diet. And the supplements, which are pretty consistent that you probably do need, are 200 milligrams of magnesium glycinate, 500 milligrams of sorbic acid, and some vitamin B1, and that's to deal with the stress of the carbohydrates on the body when you have compromised liver damage. Those are the nutrients that uh, you kind of need to process carbohydrates that can be depleted. 
So that's the pretty simple basic protocol, but I'm not gonna go too much more into that because all the days of eating, you know, I did a video titled uh, New Meal Protocol. And hopefully uh, if I have more time and funds in a few years from now, hopefully sooner than that, we can eventually do a new book and go over everything. But I, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I mean, doing this for two years now, I can see three or four years down the line when I feel a lot better and I'm recovered and everything's kind of fixed, then, then we can really push for that. But um, yeah, I mean, the worst thing about all of this is, I mean, it, it's kind of the camera too, because sometimes you guys say I look different, but you know, over the course of YouTube, I've switched my camera like four or five times, which really changes how you look. But I definitely feel like, um, this liver damage and these problems and especially not sleeping for a few years did kind of age me a little bit and look older but as I'm recovering as I'm getting better I think a few years will will still be fine so if you guys do want to support me uh, you can go to frank and check out all of my businesses where we have high quality foods Frankie syringe foods we're trying to sell stuff that lines up with this we have water key for water key for grains all types of organic stuff you can have on this type of diet in stock wifishielding.com we have the protective clothing very very important guys and then on organ supplements we do have a few interesting things that you can read about on there so uh, i guess that's everything for today guys as always please drop a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe so that youtube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos thanks again for joining guys i'll see you for the next video yeah, I'm trying to deal with the lighting situation in here. Um, at night, it's too dark. I need to get more lighting. And right now, the sun's uh, like pointing right at my face. So hopefully, it looks okay for you guys.